Welcome back to our channel, Machinery and Technology. Today we have a truly electrifying topic, metallurgical process. In the 20th and the 21st centuries, metallurgy has continued to evolve with the development of new materials and technologies for extraining and refining metals. Today, metallurgy plays a critical role in a wide range of industries, including construction, transportation and manufacturing. So if you're ready to spark your curiosity, let's dive right in. Metallurgy play a pivotal role in the advancement of the human civilization. The ability to extract, refine and shape metals like a copper, bronze and iron marks significant technological and cultural milestones in history. Metallurgy is essential for the production of a wide range of industrial materials, from steel for construction to aluminum for aerospace applications. The global economy heavily relies on the metallurgical process to produce materials and products essential for infrastructure, transportation and manufacturing. The selection of the raw material is the starting point of the production. Chain for excellent forgings. The cutting of ingots and forged parts is optimized to size. Thanks to a series of the 20 soap cutters in one oxy fuel, cutting machines forging is the heart of the company. The wide range of 10 furnaces of different volume at the 450 cubic meters allow to heat the ingots coming both from our warehousing and directly from the still. Works on insulted trucks performing hog charging. The ingots heated to desired temperature are inserted to the open die presses and subjected to operations of the upsetting stretchy punchy, stretching and mandrel and other special processes. Three different presses are available, 2,500 tones, 3,500 tones and 8,000 tones equipped with integrity and automated manipulators. It is possible to handle or forge parts of the 100 tones. State of the art department dedicated to hard treatment gives to the forged parts the required mechanical and metallurgical characteristics. The furnaces, which can move to rails, reach temperatures up to 1150 Celsius and are equipped with advanced control system. The tanks are equipped with the propellers with adjustable spray to obtain an adequate steering to quenching medium that can be selected between water and a polymer. The length of the heat treated parts can reach up to 24 meters. The automatic leading system is a tool that allows to treat more pieces stimulously and to control the relevant transfer times. The technicians oversee the entire production process, on the raw material to the finished parts in order to ensure strict compliance with internal procedures. In the references standards verifying the achievement of the requirements for each specific product, the surface quality inspection is carried out by means of magnetic particles and dye penetrating examination to internal quality control is carried out by means of ultrasonic tests, both manual and automatic dimension. Checks are carried out by means of GEX and a template. 
The measurement of the surface harness is carried out by means of a 3000 kg. Brino harness tester. Hand heat stability test can be carried out on the rotors with a maximum weight of the 50 tons. To be installed in steam or gas turbines. Destructive tests can be carried out in the internal laboratory, which can carry out mechanical tests by tensile and impacting testing machines, a telegraphic examination by microscopy and a chemical analysis by spectrometer. Manufacturing a giant crankshaft involves several complex processes. As crankshafts are critical components in engines, turbines, and our machinery, the specific steps and methods can vary depending on the size, material, and applications of the crankshaft. But here is a general overview of the manufacturing process for a large crankshaft. Material selection. Choose a suitable material for the crankshaft often high-strain alloy steel or other materials with excellent fatigue and wear resistance. Forging. Forging is a common method for creating the rough shape of the crankshaft. In this process, a large piece of steel is heated and shaped using powerful hydraulic presses or hammers. The forging process creates the basic shape of the crankshaft, including the main journal and crank pin locations. Heat treatment. The forged crankshaft is then subjected to heat treatment process to improve its mechanical properties. This may include process like annealing, quenching and tempering. Rough machining. The rough forge crankshaft is then machined to remove any excess materials and achieve the desired dimensions and a shape. This stage involves turning, miling and drilling operations to create the main bearing journals and crankpin locations. Stress relieving. After rough machining, the crankshaft may undergo stress relieving to reduce internal stress and enhance its stability. Fillet rolling. Fillet rolling is a process used to strengthen the fillet ready between the journals and the crankpins. This step enhances the crankshaft fatigue resistance. Finish machining. The crankshaft undergoes precision machining to achieve the final dimension and a surface finish. This includes greening and a polishing of bearing surface and a fillet ready. Quality inspection. The crankshaft is rigorously inspected for dimensional accuracy, surface finish and material integrity. Non-destructive testing methods, such as a magnetic particle testing or ultrasonic testing, may be used to detect defects. Surface treatment. The crankshaft may undergo surface treatment, such as a shot pinning and a nitrogen, to enhance its fatigue resistance and wear properties. Balancing. The crankshaft is a dynamically balanced to ensure smooth operation and reduce vibrations. Counterbites are added as needed to balance the assembly. Once the crankshaft passes all quality checks, it is packed and prepared for shipment to the customer or assembly facility. The manufacturing of a giant crankshaft is a precise and labor-intensive process. 
and each step plays a crucial role in ensuring the crankshaft performance and longevity is indeed applications. The specific techniques and equipment used may vary based on the size, type and requirements of the crankshaft.